Hey, what's up everyone? Southside Braves here. Thanks for checking out the video. And today for you, I got the look ahead to our week two of our King of Games tournament. Um, if you're not familiar with this, make sure you check out all the week one stuff. I had a video before week one for it and then the three games. Uh, what this is, again, we're playing three games a week for six weeks, so a total of 18 games. Uh, points collected by winning games and finishing higher up, like second or third over being last. Go out the games and we're going to Declare an overall champion. Uh, they'll get prizes and a trophy and everything. Um, but yeah, week one is in the books. We're moving on to week two. So let's take a look back at week one. The three games we played week one were Golf With Your Friends, Prominence Poker, and MLB The Show 21. You can kind of see how people finished here. In Golf With Your Friends, Shiro finished first with five points, followed by Mason with four, Wiley with three, Caden with two, myself with one, and Cody with zero. And just throw it out there, me and my friends kind of talked about it beforehand. We all kind of thought Cody was the favorite in this tournament. He mechanically, at least at a lot of these games, seems to be the best. So him starting off with a zero was kind of nice for us. Um, so yeah, he was the favorite going into it that, at least in my opinion, he was the favorite. So he gets zero in the first one. Prominence Poker, that one was a real strong house, strong suit of Wiley. He was a big favorite in that one. He does take first with four points. Cody gets second with two, and Shiro picks up last there with no points. And in the show, I would have considered myself the favorite there. I get four points. Caden gets two. Mason gets zero. Um, so, yeah, in prominence in the show, the favorites kind of won there. Golf with your friends, like I said, that one was kind of up in the air. I think I've played it the most. Shearer actually put in the most practice beforehand. So he put in the work and get the, gets the win there. That one was a toss-up. Who could have won that? So those were the three games for week one. So if you're not good at quick math, here are the standings when you add those points up. Uh, Wiley is in first with uh, the third place golf and the first place poker with seven points, followed by me and Shiro tied at five, then Cade and Mason tied at four, and in last place, Cody currently has two points. So those are the standings following week one. What we're going to do next is we're going to look at some top plays and some not top plays of the week. So if you didn't check out all the videos, you can still see some of the highlights and lowlights of the week. Um, these are all in good fun, so even if they're not top plays, hopefully no one in these videos takes them seriously. But yeah, let's take a look at the top plays first. So looking at the top plays here, first off coming in at number three, um, is in MLB The Show, myself versus Mason. Uh, I am the Braves on offense here, Mason is the Angels on defense. And we're going to see his first baseman here make a diving play. Oh, what a play. Um... Not the most skilled MLB The Show games between the three of us, uh, but we do see a nice a diving play, play there play the by Mason's first baseman. And so that is coming in at number three for the week. Moving on to number two. Looks like we got some golf with your friends here. And these are a little unfair in my advantage because, again, it was recording my perspective. So you're going to see my shots than anyone else's. Here we all have hole numbers 10. Kobe this thing in for a hole in one here. Kobe had that thing straight in there for a hole in one. So not exactly sure how to that. Number two spot. Now we'll be able to spectate some other people. One more time. Yeah. So again, on hole number 10 here on course number three. Shiro holding on to his lead. I'm going to hit this straight in. Here we all at hole number 10. hole in one. So that is Kobe had that thing straight in there. And moving on to our top play of the week. It is... In golf with your friends again and again, we just see my, more my perspective because not everyone's recording. I'm the only one recording. So there's another one of my shots here. Uh, I believe this is hole number 12, two holes later, and I get the eagle off the wall there. And uh, it was a nice shot for me. So let's try to see that one more time here. The top play of the week of week one is here in golf with your friends. So that was our top play of the week. So let's move on to the uh, little bit funnier ones in the not top plays of the week. So here at the not top plays, coming in at number three, uh, that same hole that we just saw, we're going to see another play here. Uh, Cody goes a little bit offensive and starts knocking people off. He goes ahead and knocks Mason off here. And what we'll see here from the scoreboard is that that actually causes a Airborne 95 Rage Quit. So that is the first Rage Quit of the tournament. He got zero points for this course, still came in second. But uh, the Rage Quit coming in for Mason is the not top play, number three. 
Moving on to number two. We are back at the show. And this is now Caden versus Mason. Mason is up to bat. Or, sorry, Caden is up to bat. Mason's on defense. Has one out. Gets the routine double play ball. Chooses not to turn two. Odd choice. But maybe he'll get out of it. Maybe it was the right decision. Maybe he didn't want to risk throwing it away or something. So let's see how it turns out for him. Again, this is a 0 0 game. Um, I would have thought Mason was the favorite here, but neither of these two play MLB The Show a ton. So this was going to be a pretty close game from the get-go. Uh, Mason made an odd decision, and we're going to see what that leads to here. And Caden's going to get the first run of the game, and he's going to have some trouble in the outfield with it. And that's going to lead to a triple. Uh, and again, should have turned two on the batter before, but didn't, and it cost him dearly. So that is not top play number two. Moving on to our not top play of the week. And this one's going to be a little bit different. It is the same game between Mason and Caden and MLB The Show. And uh, we're going to see, we're in the top of the ninth. Mason's down one. He needs a good inning here to stay alive. Uh, we're going to speed it up a little bit. One swing in the dirt. Ground out to the pitcher. Let's see how many balls in the dirt Mason chases this inning. He's at one. There's number two. Hey, look, it's going to be another low pitch. He chased that one. That's three of them. That one's low as well, but he's going to get a base hit, so I won't count that one against him. But that is already three that he chased low in the zone. Caden's going to pick there again. Mason lets this one go. Takes a strike. Swings at another low pitch. That's four now. Wild pitch actually gets a runner in scoring position. So he's actually in a good spot, even though he's chased four balls low. Chase one inside. I won't count that. I'm only counting the low ones. There's number five. That's a strikeout. Down to his final out. Runner on scoring position. Tying run in, on second. A little bit outside, but I won't count that one against him either. Let's that one go. He's only chased five low pitches this inning. Getting a little more picky here. Uh, there's another one, though. That one might have been a strike, but he was such a bad swing, I'm counting it. And there's number seven. So when Mason needed it most in the final inning, chased seven balls low and just never learned. And uh, Caden did a lot of the same, too. But we're going to focus on Mason here as he gets the not top play number one of the week. Um, Yeah, so we're going to be going through the top plays and not top plays each week. Uh, I think week twos, we have played the games already. I'm going to let you know that. So I do think those will be even better than week one. I don't think we had a ton to choose from week one. Uh, not a ton of top plays or not top plays in poker. And then golf, we only get my perspective. So we got a lot of baseball. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that and look forward to those plays for week two. Speaking of week two, let's take a look at the games we do have. So first off, we have Dead by Daylight. That is five participants in that. That's everyone but Caden. So it's myself, Mason, Cody, Wiley, and Shiro. We all get one turn as the killer. And basically most kills as a killer kind of is gonna how, how it's going to work out. Uh, wins, you get points for escaping as a survivor and points for killing as a killer. So that's how it's going to work. I'll describe the rules more specifically when we get to the game. Next up was supposed to be Fall Guys. Had an issue with everyone having that game and getting it to work. So made a last minute change. Let Mason kind of pick the replacement game because... He didn't pick any of the games to begin with. And he picked Killer Instinct, which he is a huge favorite in. Uh, me and Caden don't stand a chance, in all honesty. So it's going to be a fight for second. And maybe steal a match for Mason. But yeah, so that's going to be one of those Mason's heavy favorite. Dead by Daylight is kind of an odd game where I would consider Shiro the favorite. He plays that more than anyone. But again, that's another one that's tough to really determine a favorite. So... But again, going into it, I would pick Shiro if I had to. Killer Instinct, easy Mason win. Uh, and Halo Wars 2, we have another big favorite. Cody's a big favorite there. Uh, as we see Caden, Cody, Shiro, and Wiley participating in that one. So another week, everyone should have two of the three games they're participating in. Uh, two of them have big favorites, much like week one. Mason, Killer Instinct, Cody, and Halo Wars. But, I mean, we're recording this in the height of March Madness. So uh, upsets are always... Wanted, and I hope to see them. Like, they're fun. So, But those are the games for week two, and who's participating in them. 
I hope you are enjoying this tournament. I enjoy doing it. So that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you check out these three games when they come out this week. And I'm a little bit behind on this. Uh, scheduling these with everybody has been a little bit hectic, hectic at times. But uh, these should be coming out pretty rapidly as soon as you see this video. So please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. If you're looking forward to these other games. Check out the other week one stuff if you haven't seen it. And yeah, I hope to see you in the future videos. That's really all I got, guys. I hope you all have a good day and a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.